Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this color swatch, and they want to power clip it, but they don't want like the lines and everything. And if you go here, you go to Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, so you can do it. But it, they don't want the lines, they want more subtle with colors. I know very little about color because I'm an engraver and we don't get to use color. But I started thinking about, and a tool I very seldom ever use is the mesh fill tool. So we're gonna fill this circle in with yellow. And then I'm gonna go to the mesh fill tool. And the mesh fill tool is gonna give you nodes that you can bring in and put colors in. And you can use, you know, any color under the rainbow, you know, any color in your chart and just move things around and go down and get, you know, different colors. And let's go with this blue, maybe in the center and, you know, just make a bunch of different colors like this light. You know, all you have to do is just fill in these nodes and just this way you could kind of pick what color you want. Then you could also double click on the line and you get more spots to put colors in. So you could, you know, add a little purple to this side and now you're getting more like lines, but, uh, you know, let's add a, let's make that blue and let's make the center one, maybe a light green. And you can still add some nodes that we haven't even touched yet. So let's go with a light yellow and you kind of see you're getting a lot of variation and, and I really never have used this tool. So it's pretty cool. And I, that one doesn't look very good. And you know, I mean, you can add color to the edges. And I think if you've already added a color, you really can't do anything. But if you just drag a color over there and set it in a the spot, then I'm not very pleased with that, but then you could set your word of course, they're not going to use the word color, but, and you see it's in the back. So go to order front of page so we can see a color and then grab that color, even though it's a mesh fill, go to object, power clip, place inside frame and place it inside that frame. And that's not bad. You get multiple colors and you could go back and edit it, you know, and, and change it around. Let's just, uh, let's back up here. You could take, take your circle, double click on it and rotate it where you get, of course, now we've got some, a lot of yellows. Um, so maybe you want to just rotate a little, little bit, you know, you can just rotate your rotation degrees is gone because it's not a, it's a weird object, but then just go back to object power clip, place it inside frame and put it inside the, any letter. That's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, unless you find a different swatch and maybe there's maybe even some blends you could do. But anyway, I hope that answers their question. And thank you for watching.